It's January in theaters, you know what that means. Time to put out the hot trash. So when I went to Night Swim, I thought for sure that's exactly what I was gonna get. But after leaving the theaters, I had some mixed emotions and you might be shocked by the results. <laughs> Let's talk about them. I just realized Night Swim is the first movie of 2024 that I saw. What an exciting time to be alive. If you like excitement and talking films, why don't you go ahead and dive into the subscribe button, hit that thing so that I show up more often. We can swim around in the deep end and see what we find. I'm gonna keep doing terrible water puns, so strap in. Or I should say life jacket up. That doesn't quite ring the same. Let's talk about this film. Night Swim falls under the category of starter pack horror. It's PG-13, very little blood, very little gore, of course, and a little, little bit of atmosphere. I like the atmosphere in this. I didn't hate this movie. Definitely wasn't blown away by it. It's a perfectly serviceable, mediocre time across the board. If you're a teen and you got a girlfriend or a boyfriend or maybe one of each, I don't know what's happening in 2024, take them. You might have a good time, if, especially if you don't watch a lot of horror movies or you like to be scared. This movie provides a decent enough amount of scares for the whole family. If you have little ones and you're on the fence, like maybe, ooh, is this the one I should get them into horror with? Possibly. There is some decent scares to be had. When we get into the supernatural elements and the things that are in the water, I found them to be kind of silly looking, not scary in the slightest. In fact, I think the movie would have worked better had they kept them in the dark. Had this stayed a little bit more mysterious instead of going the route they go. That said, I've seen far worse in the horror category. This is a very polished movie. It looks nice, it's crisp, it's clean. Some of the shots in the pool are very creative. Has sort of a get out vibe to it, especially when they're in the deep end of the water looking up. I mean, honestly, it feels kind of like a, a get out ripoff at times without the social commentary or interesting creative take on anything. That said, this is very stock. It's very by the book and it's perfectly executed. There are some good scares. Without giving anything away, we follow the Waller family, I believe is their last names. It, it really doesn't matter. The, the husband is the primary here. He used to play baseball, he was professional, and then he got hit with MS. It's a debilitating disease, it's, it's super sad, and he's gonna have to come to terms with that. Or is he? Because as it turns out, this new house they purchased has a pool in the backyard that kind of doing good on his body, is doing his body justice, giving him a nice shot of vitamin C, B, D, A, whatever it takes to get that MS under control, actually even improve it over time. His kids are a mixed bag. The teenage daughter is fitting in nicely to the school. The son's having a hard go at it. The mom, you know, just she's she's trying to make the best of a bad situation. And the bad situation is this pool is starting to do some weird stuff. The people are getting creeped out that are using it. They're seeing things they're not sure that are there or not. They're having a hard time communicating with each other. I will say, as far as the, the scares go and as far as the characters go, I like the characters here. They were very likable people. They didn't make frustratingly stupid choices that often happens. The scares were pretty genuine for the most part. It wasn't a ton of jump scares. In fact, maybe one or two at the most. Good atmosphere building in. The night shots don't look grainy or ugly. It's really, it really is just a well-crafted, lame movie <laughs> from top to bottom. There's no blood, it's, it's PG-13, so you're not getting any blood, there's no swearing, there's no real edge to any of it. It's a starter kit coming into horror movies, and I think there's a place for those. It's kind of like Megan, where Megan's real charm is the doll and how kooky it is and silly and creative. Whereas here, it's just kind of formulaic, but done well enough to not be insulting. And for a January release, you could do a whole lot worse. Shout out to the trailer for keeping things very vague. In fact, I only saw one for it. It was kind of a teaser where it was just the cute girl swimming in the pool and she's pulled under and then boom, night swim comes up and that's it. That aside, yeah, the movie is harmless. There's really nothing much to say. There's some throwing up of water constantly in the later act, which gets to be a bit much, not because it's 
like crazy scary or gross or anything. It's just I don't want to keep seeing people spit up water on the grass. There's just nothing interesting there. Overall, not too bad. Uh, I've seen far worse in 2023. So 2024 for a January shit out film, I'm okay with it. Not too bad, but I wouldn't rush out and see it. This is a movie you watch on a Sunday rainy afternoon when you have absolutely nothing better to do. You throw this on with the family and you say, all right, night swim, what are we doing here? Let's see what you guys think. And then you move into the adult horror movies down the road. You get into the good stuff. Let me know your thoughts on Night Swim. I am late to the game on this. I understand it came out, you know, a week or so back, I think. I don't I don't really know anymore. Time has no has no purchase over here. Leave a comment. Let me know. Please subscribe to the channel if you like what I'm doing. You like the honesty. You like the, the playfulness, the silliness. We're talking movies. We're having fun. This isn't some deep discussion, some deep dive if you must. You know, I started out saying I was going to do a lot of water puns. I really dropped the ball on that. Uh, kind of washed up at this point to, to mention them now. Let me know. Subscribe. Do all that stuff. Patreon support. It's 2024. Let's have some fun. All right. Take care. Thank you.